We're going to multiply a one-digit number by a three-digit number using the distributive property. I want students to break apart that multi-digit number based on place value. So it will be 600 plus 40 plus 9. And we're going to rewrite the equation with that expanded form number. Next, we're going to have students multiply that 2 by each value or digit in that three-digit number. So 2 times 600, close that in parentheses, 2 times 40, and 2 times 9. You want them to make sure they remember that we're adding them back together, joining them back together. So, and then find the product of each of those expressions. 2 times 600 is 1,200. 2 times 40 is 80. 2 times 9 is 18. Add the two two-digit numbers together, you get 98. Keep the 1,200. 1,200 plus 98 is 1,298. So the product is 1,298. Let's see what it looks like when we switch the location of the factors. So we're going to put the three-digit number first and the one-digit number second. We want students to see that even though the factors are switched, that you'll arrive at the same product. So we Again, have them decompose that three-digit number into hundreds, tens, and ones. They could, of course, decompose it into another or a different number. This is just one way to decompose that multi-digit number. So I'm going to rewrite it and multiply that val those values by 2. So we're going to take the hundreds, 600, times 2. Close them up in parentheses, the 40 times 2, and the 9 times 2. We want students to know that they're adding those products back together, very similar to the area model. 600 times 2 is 1,200, 40 times 2 is 80, and 9 times 2 is 18. We know 80 and 18 gives us 98 and 1298 gives us 1298 so the total product again is 1298 we multiplied a three-digit number by a one-digit number using the distributive property